Hey guys, it's Delenka. Welcome to my next video. I'm a software engineer and a PhD student and today is the first day of the winter semester. So I got a lot of things to do and a lot of things to show you. So let's get started. Yeah, so currently I'm working my normal software engineering job and when I'm finished, I'm going to prepare some things for the students and then I'm going to go and teach uh, four hours of labs. So I have to drive to my uni, teach the labs and then come back. And the things I have to prepare are things like um, well, what they're going to do uh, during the whole subject, like what they can expect, what they should know, uh, etc, etc, et like where to find the information they need, also how to sign up for the project they have to do, and in the end, so it's gonna be like an introductory lab, and that's why I have time to take you with me. I think a lot of people underestimate how hard and difficult it is to be a PhD student and to have a job and to have a work-life balance and not be depressed all the time, because I think that is genuinely difficult. I know students at a lot of universities don't have to teach as PhD students and I think that is just amazing that you can choose whether you want to teach or whether you want to do something research related and work on actual research projects besides your dissertation. I don't have that option and I'm not genuinely a person who likes to teach and the reason why is because I'm a huge introvert. I love talking to you on the internet but I don't really like meeting up with so many new people and it's, it's really difficult for me internally <laughs> to actually do it and it's weird because in order uh, to be a researcher you have to go through this in our country with, with our university which seems a bit off, I don't know, let me know uh, your comments on this but I just wanted to tell you that yeah I struggle with this a lot, I want to teach people that's a really nice thing if you can teach someone something and then they know it or you just spread knowledge, I think that is amazing but with these labs, it's mostly like people actually don't want to listen to you. They don't want to learn. And yeah, it tends to be really difficult. And the subject is not really easy. So they struggle with it a lot. And it just makes me a bit sad. But yeah, just wanted to give you a quick insight on that. I already packed my bag. And I am only taking my iPad with me today because I don't need anything else for the labs. So that's why I'm taking such a handbag because my laptop would not fit in there. But by the way, I don't have a laptop anymore. I only got my big huge desktop, which is currently turned off because I uh, work on a work notebook. But I got this detachable, attachable keyboard from Logitech to go with my iPad so I can actually do some stuff on it and not just like be tapping with my fingers because we know how effective that can be. Um, and also one cool thing I have here is such a bottle, like when you're taking a handbag like this, it is really cool to just, um, yeah, pack some water. And um, yeah, this one just sits there and does not take much place. And another cool thing I have here, if I can find it somewhere, yeah, are nuts. Um, nuts are great if you're hungry and if you can't think, so it's a great way to take some, some snack with you and you yeah, have to be actually healthy and uh, help you when you have a bad time. I'm now just preparing everything for the first lab. Here they have their study materials. Here they have their assignments for the first lab. I'm an introvert and I don't want people to see me uh, yeah, filming. Um, I'm gonna take the Insta360 Go 3 and attach it to my back so that I don't have to worry about the footage and hopefully get something interesting for you. I'm also wearing it on the necklace which comes with it like this, but I feel like it looks a bit weird and everyone would notice. Here, I just wanted to flex with my outfit of the day. As you can see, this dress uh, by Mercedes AMG Petronas F1 team. The drive is around half an hour, so I'm gonna finish my espresso, make some coffee to go, and we're ready to go. Our pumpkin spice latte is ready, and we can go now for real. I honestly hope you're gonna like my university because I'm really proud of that building. It looks super modern and other countries could be jealous of our faculty at least. I just wanted to add that this won't be a super long day at university. I just wanted to show you that I have to work and then go to uni and teach and that it can be a little bit demanding. Now we're gonna see if we can park today because usually when it's the first day of the winter semester, that's the time when the most students are here. Everyone is parking everywhere they can. 
I honestly hope that you would see a bit more when the camera was on my neck but yeah I should have placed it on my head but I didn't want to wear anything because it would be dangerous. At least here you could get a glimpse of my faculty that's the building in front and here we're going from the other side to find a parking lot. camera has died after half an hour of filming in pretty hot temperatures so um, yeah, you couldn't see my parking skills, sorry for that, but we arrived, we found a parking space and yeah, we can go. I didn't want to talk because there were too many people and I didn't want anyone to hear me, but these are our toilets and this is the lab where I was teaching. As you can see, it looks pretty modern and beautiful and students can work on the laptops there. There are so many people here that I did not want to film. So I'm gonna show you what the uni looks like after I have the labs. So it's gonna be almost seven o'clock, so no one's gonna be here, hopefully. Here is me allocating points for the tasks and waiting until the next lab starts. This looks like if I would be coming out of the basement, but yeah, it kind of fell that way a bit. But yeah, I should not have taken the camera to film this because it was already too dark for it. You can see the grain and also when it was attached to my bag, the stabilization, well, no. there's nothing I can add to it, but you can see at least how beautiful our faculty is a bit, I hope. It didn't handle the stairs well, but as I was walking straight, it did not look that bad, I think. So here I'm just walking out of the building. This is the main entrance you can see. At least we could test how the InstaGo 3 handles low light and how it performs. Also, we could see the stabilization. So sorry for the footage, but at least we could test it. And here I'm already getting into my car. Okay, that was it. That's the end of the day for me. I'm going home. Um, I hope you could see something from what a day in the life of a PhD student is like in Slovakia. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!